Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I think this is the first vlog clip that I filmed since I added a bit more of like a red tint or like a copper tint to my hair and it looks darker in this lighting weirdly. I feel like this is a little bit more accurate but I'm so happy with it. I love it so much but I'm actually in a rush as usual to get out the door. I'm meeting up with Alexa to go thrifting together for the first time since like August I think. So I'm very excited about that. I thought I would show you my outfit before I head out. So here is what we're working with today. I have this cute little ensemble it kind of does remind me of like maybe my fourth grade teacher but like in a good way so I have this top on from Reformation and it's so comfortable I'm not wearing a bra though which is like very weird for me so I feel like I'm just gonna need to keep going like that like dabbing up the <laughs> under boob sweat but I'm being brave and then I have this thrifted denim midi skirt on maxi skirt and it's a little bit big actually so I had to use this belt that I thrifted I think I got this on thread up but it's originally from ASOS and then I have have my little Target red ballet flats because I thought they would look cute with this. Oh, and then my earrings are from Amazon, these like silver hoops, and then this necklace I think I got it cotton on, I wanna say. It's literally so dark and cloudy and gloomy right now and I love it. I feel like I used to dread winter and I've kind of like embraced it. Well, winter in California and Arizona are very different than winter in other places, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. Anyways, I'm gonna throw on my red purse. This is thrifted and it fits so much stuff. I have my bags. There are actually two bags in here that I'm gonna use for the stuff that I thrift. I have my fresh ice water. I have my protein shake to drink on the way for breakfast. We're going to like near Long Beach. So it's gonna be about like a 40 minute drive depending on morning traffic. And I need to hit the road because Alexa already left like 15 minutes ago. So just wanted to say good morning, welcome, and let's go have like the most fun Friday ever. I feel so grateful and so lucky. I love it. It's feeling. If you know, you know. All right, just got to the thrift store. I'm not sure how much filming I'm gonna be able to do once I'm like, you know, in main channel mode, but I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I have a gift to give Alexa and I've had a bag of hers in my car for like the last month and a half, two months almost. I'm just so excited. I love thrifting on like a Friday right before the weekend. I don't know, it just makes me really happy. Okay, catch up in a little bit. This is proof of life that I was with Alexa. Every time I film main channel videos with you, I never show you in the vlogs because we're here. always just busy, but I'm she's here. here. Don't worry, <laughs> we're about to go get coffee. We did our damage, honestly, so much fun. We were there for probably what? Hour and a half, almost two hours? Yeah. It was a pretty good thrifting day. There are people in this parking lot that are circling us like piranhas. They're waiting for our spot, so we probably should go. We're gonna get some Starbucks and continue on with our fun girls day. Made it back in the car. This shirt is like very weird looking sitting down. Like I feel actually kind of naked. It's bizarre. Hope you don't mind my phone being right there because now I have to pull up this Starbucks that we're gonna go to. That was so much fun, honestly. And I have been dying for this moment. We are going to head to Starbucks and have like a little, not really lunch, cause I have my protein shake on the way here. I'm not like super hungry, but I do want a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso very, very badly. I need it biblically actually. So that is what we're gonna do next. Thank you so much. Thank you too. All right, coffee date is over. It's about 1.30 and I'm gonna head back to LA. It's gonna take like an hour uh, to get home, which is so annoying, but that's kind of just how it goes. Like anytime you venture outside of LA, it's just kind of a long way home. But I mean, really only added like another 15, 20 minutes to like what would normally be my drive. So it's all good, but uh, I just feel so happy. And I always leave hanging out with Alexa, just feeling amazing. And I just love that girl. So anyway, now I'm going to head home and we will catch up later. I might film my little thrift haul when I get home, I'm not sure. Oh, I got a string cheese. I forgot about that, I'm gonna eat that. Anyways, <laughs> successful Friday morning. I'm a very happy girl.
Good morning. It's actually a couple days later. It is Sunday morning now and it's October 1st the day I'm filming this. And so it is very much spooky season. It's Halloween season. We have waited a lot later this year to like decorate, do fall stuff. I am literally wearing my fall outfit today that I just threw together and I'm very excited about. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's, get some coffee, go to Trader Joe's, you know, typical Sunday stuff. And I thought I would bust out this sweater that I haven't, I don't think I've worn it yet. Or maybe I have, but just briefly. And it's from, I think it's from Mod Cloth, if I remember correctly, and it's a freaking bat sweater. This this is the best sweater ever, I love it. And then I have my little, hold on, it's not gonna order. Is this better? I don't know. I have my little um, like black denim skirt. It's actually stretchy. I got it from Target maybe like last year or two years ago. I have my little knee highs on and my thrifted Oxford shoes. And I'm so excited. We're gonna get fall stuff. We're maybe gonna decorate our place today. We're gonna watch some cozy movies. We did that yesterday. We like walked and got some coffee, walked around for a bit, had like the most wholesome little morning. And then we sat on the couch and watched fall movies all day long. We watched When Harry Met Sally and then Practical Magic and just like chatted and just scrolled on TikTok in between. And it was so great. We're gonna head out and let's have a fun little wholesome Sunday. <laughs> We were gonna go to one of our favorite coffee shops, but they were out of decaf. And I'm just a decaf girly, so I was like, mm, I don't want anything. And Drew was like, let's just go to Starbucks since we're already going to Target. So we'll get some fall drinks. It'll be fun. Okay, I'm not coming for anyone, but why do Starbucks and Targets never hit? Like the coffee comes out looking like milk. I don't understand. This is no shade. Anyways, got a brown sugar, oat milk, shake and espresso, but this color is much better. We got. We wanted to try the apple crisp shaking oat milk espresso. And um, I don't know how I feel about apple and coffee, but we're gonna try it. Maybe you'll like this we got one. It, yeah, we got it half sweet too, so I'm gonna try it first. Here we go, cheers. Oh. Is it sour like apple? It literally just tastes like apple coffee. No. Good. It's, it's not bitter. Yeah, it's not for me. I mean, I'm drinking more of it, but that ends it's kind of growing on me. Dude, when I drink with the vanilla, it tastes bad. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of growing on me. Slay. Now we're gonna browse around the like sort of home decor and see if there's any cute fall things for our home because we do want to decorate today and we don't really have that much before we moved back to LA a year and a half ago or however long that was. We got rid of a lot of our holiday stuff <laughs> to make room. So now we're gonna buy more, of course. That's oh. how it works. So in case you wanna know what it's like to live in LA, this is the fall section on October 1st. It might just be a little early, but um, yeah. This is what we're working with here. Lovely. I feel like these days, if you come to like a store looking for the holiday, you're almost like late if you're there on the month that you would want it for. I remember one time on Black Friday, I was like shopping with my mom and looking for Christmas stuff and like all the Christmas trees were gone. Everything was already picked through. The decor was already like completely gone. So I don't know, we'll see what we can find. We did find these little pumpkin dishes that are cute and there's some kind of, I guess like Thanksgiving themed stuff. These are really cute. So I don't know, maybe those. And then also these little like pumpkin pillows are adorable there's like plaid pumpkin ones there's like matching blankets so maybe okay now we're at least in the halloween section we have a miss sarah sanderson pumpkin kit and i think your pumpkin ends up looking like that i honestly think we're just late yeah. are we going like spooky or like cozy i don't know <laughs> everything else we have is cozy yeah that's true <laughs> so loud <laughs> What? <laughs> What's this one doing? He's cute. I don't know if we're going in like the Halloween direction this year for like actual decor, but these are cute. Got some cute pumpkins, little like lawn ornaments. There's a haunted gnome. Oh, he's got a little friend over there. All right, now we've moved on to the. <laughs> moved up to the grocery portion of shopping. Oh no. Anyway, 
But okay, we were gonna we're not getting we up. were gonna buy these, but here, what if I do this? Oh my god. <laughs> so now we're just gonna get like some grocery things that we can't get at Trader Joe's. Then we're heading over to Trader Joe's and getting the good stuff. <laughs> Drew's really struggling over here. I'm like almost 70% done with this one, and I'm just this is my first time seeing like a physical copy. Good god. This thing is a monster. Look at it compared to like this book. Damn. <laughs> when you read it on a Kindle, you don't really have that perspective. This book is so unhinged, and I feel like we need to have a talk about it at some point, but it's the third in a series, and I'm almost done with it. Everybody, it's that time. It's Trader Joe's haul time. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's. And we ran into one of my friends, Kara, who lives out here, who I literally have known since sixth grade. So we've known each other for 25, going on 25 years now. Like, that's crazy. Okay, so in no particular order, we got some arugula. I've seen a couple of TikToks that have inspired me to make salads with arugula. We also got some shredded kale. I think I'm gonna attempt to do some like sweet green mock salad recipes coming up because that just sounds really good. We got some avocados and some bananas. I got these Thai wheat noodles. I saw um, a couple things that I wanted to try for like a stir fry, sort of like peanut sauce type of thing. So that looked good for that. More avocados. We got a yellow onion and somewhere else we got a red onion. Drew got his apple juice, of course, because he already drank the apple juice from the orchard. I told him he should have gotten a gallon, but he didn't listen to me. Okay, next we got some gochujang sauce. This is Trader Joe's version. Obviously it's not like super authentic or anything, but we got that. I got these cauliflower slims. I don't know, it's like, I think you can make like little pizzas on it and stuff. It just looked really good, so I'm gonna try that. We got some sprouted tofu. We got four, oh my god. So many of these cheddar cheese and bacon egg bites. You just throw them in the microwave for a minute and they're so good with hot sauce. We got some almond milk for my smoothies that I drink every morning. I have like my little chocolate banana spinach protein smoothie. It's so good. White jasmine rice is literally the best. It's just so easy. You throw it in the microwave for like four minutes, three minutes, and it's a done deal. We got some bacon. Here are the marinated meats that we got for the week. We got some savory herbed chicken thighs. Those looked good. What? We got two of the same ones by accident. They had like a sun-dried tomato something chicken tenders and we thought we grabbed that but I think Drew accidentally grabbed the wrong one. That's okay. Um, we got some peppercorn garlic boneless pork tenderloin. That'll be good. Got some ground turkey. We just throw all of this in the freezer until we're ready to eat it. I got one. Butternut squash, mac and cheese. I don't know, I used to buy like seven of them and I just felt like that was like excessive. So okay, next freezer bag. Oh, falling all over the place. Okay, we got two vanilla, no sorry, one raspberry and one vanilla Icelandic style yogurt. Got some low fat cottage cheese. Vegan kale, cashew and basil pesto. This is the best. It's like always in our fridge, it's delicious. I got one of the sweet potato gnocchi, like top three Trader Joe's items for me. Some chicken meatballs just to have, some chicken sausage just to have. It's good to like just have proteins either like in the freezer or in the fridge ready to go. Got a few, I think the rest of this is actually frozen stuff. We got the Mexican style roasted corn with fajita cheese. That looks really good. Got some cauliflower like rice. Thought I would try that. I got some kind of cauliflower stir, stir fry thing. I've been um, dealing with some health stuff from the doctors and so I'm just trying to, I don't need to explain what I'm eating, but anyway, got that. We got some mashed potatoes. These are in little, almost like cylinders and you just either microwave them or heat them up and then it's really good. It's just almost ready mashed potatoes, although you do need to like season it up quite a bit. We got one, two, three of the chicken soup dumplings. These are so freaking good. You put like soy sauce, chili onion crunch, whatever other kind of sauces you want on there. Wow, absolutely delicious. And then Drew got the pork and ginger one. I'm just gonna try that. Oh my lord. Doesn't it look so good? Last bag, we got some asparagus, a bell pepper, red onion, 
Drew got his candies, his crystallized candy ginger. He eats that literally like candy. I got an apple strawberry fruit leather, a few of the apple blueberry ones. These are the ones that were at the checkout and I just threw them in. Dark chocolate sunflower seed cups, sunflower seed butter. We got a cinnamon brew, a little tiny cinnamon brew. Cause like for us anyway, we're just gonna hang that like on our back door or maybe like out in our garden, I'm not sure. I saw these giant baked beans and tomato sauce and it kind of reminded me of like British baked beans, but I don't think it is. It's more like Mediterranean style, I think. And I've seen people on TikTok put this on like toast and things like that. So I thought, I'll try it. We got like six cans of tuna because Drew eats tuna for lunch every single day. He said that this Trader Joe's tuna is his favorite. We got his English crumpets, of course. We got a can of black beans, another fruit leather, some tomato basil pasta sauce just to have. I saw this um, tikka masala curry sauce, so it's just like a simmer sauce, and I think you just like cook your meat, and then you just simmer this with it, and then you pour it over rice, and that sounds delicious. And last but not least, we got some strawberries and some Caesar dressing. And that is our Trader Joe's haul. We also went to Target. I'll show you the stuff from Target, but I'm gonna put away these groceries first. Frozen. Um, sure. We started our brunch. We've got the air fryer going, so sorry about that. I also forgot to show all the fall stuff we got. So from Target, we got this really cute little pumpkin serving dish, I think. We put like little thingies in it, like little pumpkin candies, or you could serve soup in it if you want, or whatever. I got this pumpkin, because it's like a little less uh, like in your face. We got this um, felt leaf garland that might look cute somewhere, I'm not sure. I also from Target got this little tiny vanilla pumpkin candle. Like look how cute that is. And it smells unbelievable, I'm so excited. And then here is our haul of pumpkins that we got from Trader Joe's. And if you followed us in previous years, we used to go so hard with pumpkins. <laughs> and it's really fun, but can't really eat them all. So anyway, this is the, we got two of the little pie pumpkins. I think these might end up being the pumpkins that we like paint or decorate for this year. We're not much of like a carving kind of family. It's fun, but it's like really itchy and messy, and whatever. So I think we're just gonna like maybe paint if we end up doing that. And then we got a couple of these ugly boards, which are so fun. Got two of those. We got two of these little mini white pumpkins, two of the mini orange ones. And then I think these are called fairy tale pumpkins, these like striped ones. We got like an orange one and a green one. So we might stack those up like throughout the house or put them somewhere in the back patio, the front door, who knows. Brunch is ready and it's our usual. We got hash browns, mine are a little burnt. They look more burnt on camera than they are in real life. With avocado smash, it's like nice and seasoned, cottage cheese and hot honey. Then we got our eggs our bacon. And I also made this cute little flower arrangement with the flowers we got at Trader Joe's. So cute. Oh, and then Drew has some freaking fresh tomatoes from our garden on his. So cute. I'm obsessed. Let's eat. Oh my god, now it is actually fall. I'm so excited! It's the new season of The Great British Bake Off, in case you didn't know. Um, if you don't watch it on Netflix, you need to. It's so good. Oh my god. This- I could cry. I'm so excited. Okay. We'll check in in a bit when we decorate, but this is the best time of the year. I love the bake-off. I love the bake-off so much. We have finished our brunch and the bake-off was amazing. I did start crying and then I checked my period tracker app because I was like, why do I feel like crying right now? <laughs> like it's just so, I just love that show so much. It's so wholesome and adorable. Anyway, we loved it. And now we've got our last year's or just sort of remnants of other years of fall decor out in this bucket. And then we have some of our new stuff and we're just gonna set it up and see where it takes us. I hate overhead lighting, but I'm doing this for you guys. So this way there will be much better lighting. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna be a ladder. Shit, shit. Ow. Cute. Okay. We also brought in some of the pumpkins from Trader Joe's and then these tiny little flower arrangements that I made. How cute are these? These vases were from a thread up event that I went to and when everyone, no, when everyone, when everyone was leaving, they told everybody, take as many as you want. So I took two, there were people who took like 10. Yes, no, I swear. I'm not gonna turn down a free vase. Yeah, I kind of have to go like above the door. Yeah, I can't reach that. Why? Go, go, gadget arms! <laughs> yeah. Good? Fine. Yeah. Lovely! Uh, 
That was like $2. We're gonna put our cinnamon broom over the door because that feels witchy for some reason. Our practical magic rewatch has really inspired us. <laughs> if you know that Halloween Town reference, please let us know. Bake Geeky Gain. <laughs> Play. We're witches. Yeah, we are definitely witches. I was thinking like, are we gonna be smelling cinnamon very strongly when we're trying to eat our dinner out here? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. We also have a wreath that goes over here. It's just really orange and I don't know how I feel about it, but now that I'm like looking at everything, like all of this, I think I'm still into it. And also, yeah, I mean, it's cute and we don't really have anything else. <laughs> I'm feeling festive and I think we're gonna go for it. Da -da -da. Sure, so cute. I think we used to wrap like string lights around that too. And also like, look at our little peephole. It's so cute. Although I'm not gonna show you out our front door. Oh my God, you little freaks. <laughs> we also have this, which like- Be careful, what? set it on fire. <laughs> it scares me, I don't know what's happening. He keeps being like, I was like, I just got hot all of a sudden. He's like, right, the fireplace is on. Dad jokes galore. I don't know if this is like too much, but also our apartment is literally like too much, like maximalist decor. That's just me in general. Drew's like little test that he does every single time we do something. He does like the thing that dads do where Why he walks to the very back of the room and he stands there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like every single thing we do. He goes and stands mm -hmm. all the way at the back. Yeah. Looks good. You have to get the full scope. No, I, I, I do. I understand. I think it's adorable. I'm loving it. Fall threw up in our house. So we've got a bunch of like random loose pumpkins in here. And then we also have our Harry Potter candles. And to be honest, they're entirely tangled. They all need new batteries. It's kind of a pain in the ass. We would have to retie the fishing line. And it's like, I'm just not in the mood to do all that. I really am not. So I think we're going to skip it this year. We'll just kind of start putting random things oh, all around. <gasps> Oh, cute. Let's see where we end up finding homes for these. So that is gonna pretty much do it for this vlog. Um, you know, my life is kind of boring, so that's pretty much it. But I hope you all enjoyed it anyways. I am just feeling the fall spirit like so heavily this year and I'm so excited to cozy up on the couch. There's like leaves falling from the trees right now. Even though it's literally gonna be 90 degrees next week, I'm fully enjoying it. I'm embracing it. I feel like the um, first thing that we have to do tonight, the first order of business is watch our first Halloween movie because it is October 1st and it's probably gonna be Halloween Town. It's always been Halloween. Yeah, it just has to be. So, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope you're having a happy October so far. And I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.